Uh, this is the jazz hour of the love shower. And we'll be chopping up with a young man that has plenty of advice and techniques. First of all, I want to thank you for coming down and sharing your information. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what is it that you do? Hello, how you doing everyone? Uh, my name is Colin Stewart. I'm uh, the owner of One Love CPR. Uh, we are an authorized American Heart Association CPR organization. Uh, so what we do in the community, we try to empower the community uh, definitely by teaching them CPR and first aid techniques. Um, definitely, you know, it's, it, it's the holiday season right now, so all the families together. Uh, so what we try to impart yeah. within you is just to the things always, things are always happening. So just get prepared and, you know, that could be an investment uh, for the family as far as you knowing uh, what to do in case of uh, emergency. Yeah, it's definitely a must. Um, you were talk we were talking earlier, we were talking about, um, especially, you know, with the um, single parents, um, single mother, single father, whatever you are, but just knowing what to do. You know? Most definitely, most definitely. Um, definitely here in the, in the Teaneck area, uh, working with Never Alone Again Resource Center, um, they have a uh, parenting class. Uh, so with, within that parenting class, I also teach the uh, parents, single parents and or just parents together, uh, CPR, uh, CPR class of what to do in case of uh, maybe their little one, their infant and or child that may possibly need CPR or possibly uh, assistant if they're choking. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, CPR is an acronym for cardiopulmonary resuscitation? Yes, sir, it's cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay. Uh, you, you spoke about um, uh, Nag, Never Alone Again. Um, you said about Miss Teresa Johnson. I'm going to give her a little shout out right quick, you know? Uh, most, most definitely. She's awesome. Yeah, she definitely is. Um, she came a long way doing her thing. Never Alone Again is a nonprofit organization headed by Miss Teresa Johnson. They deal with domestic violence. However, not only that, they have various workshops that will teach girls how to become strong women. They accept polling donations, of which is redistributed to clients that may be in need of, that may be in need. Incidentally, November 17th, which is tomorrow, that will only again toast in a workshop about knowing your worth and value. Indeed. Knowing your worth and value is a vital if you're going to have success and happiness in your life. For you feel fully, for you must have a strong sense of worth and possess confidence. So to help you take back control and appreciate your self-worth, join us at the Knowing Your Worth Workshop. There will be guest speakers along with light refreshments. All this is taking place Saturday, which is tomorrow, November 17, 2018, from 4 to 7. Location, Never Alone Again Resource Center, 668 American Legion Drive. Number 5, parking on the north side the parking lot in Teaneck, New Jersey. So come on in <coughs> and make a friend at Never Alone Again. Yeah, I had to get out to uh, Teresa. She done, done a lot of things. Came a lot of things. I don't learn from her myself, man. Oh, most you know, definitely. She's awesome. She's gotta, awesome. Keep it, gotta keep it going, you know. Gotta keep it uh, moving. You know? um, always having confidence. Always, you know, um, give me that that, that positive talk, self-positive talk. Uh, she's right. given it to me several times, actually. I've needed it. <laughs> yeah, um, when I spoke, I don't know if you caught me, when I was at, spoke at the, um, the Never Alone Again presentation they had, mm -hmm. that's what I said when I first got there. That day, I said, I needed a boot in the butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that kick. And it was talking about worth then, self worth, yeah. you know? And it was all good because everything kind of like blended right in, you know? It's all good. Getting back with the CPR, is there a... Uh, <coughs> So, yes, um, if you guys want to um, check us out, definitely onelovecpr.com. Mm -hmm. That's all spelled out, O-N-E-L-O-V-E-C-P-R.com. Um, definitely, if you want to hear, hear about what our previous customers have been saying about us, by all means, uh, you Google review us, uh, Yelp review, uh, j just as far as our track record goes. Okay. Um, my background itself, I'm military. Um, what part? Air Force. The best. You I'm know it. Myself, you man. know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was talk, I don't know if you know about AJ and um and um Hackensack, AJ and Rich Dow and stuff like that. Well, I, I, on my way to on my way here, uh -huh. he called me. We giving out turkeys. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I went and grabbed a turkey right quick <laughs> and shot back home. But 
Yeah, I'm in the Air Force, man. I was in the Air Force. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. So, I, like, my time in the Air Force, I was pretty much working in the emergency room. Okay. Uh, so I pretty much lived on just about every continent except one. And it's just been... Lucky you. They, I didn't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they killed me. They killed me. You're all over the, all over the place. I, 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 I've gotten... I'm, I'm grateful that I've been able to see a bit. Right, right, right. Uh, but Tell definitely, uh, I've seen a lot of local cultures, but always worked in the emergency room in the field, uh, training others as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I truly love what I do. Okay. Um, so, which is what makes it fun for me and makes and also makes it fun for the students in the class as well. Yeah, definitely. Are you uh, like an LPN or RN or anything like that? No, no, no. I'm, I'm an EMTB. EMTB? Yep. And that can now stand for what? Uh, emergency medical technician. Okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah, you're making me jealous now, man. I'm trying. I put in for worldwide tour. They ain't send me nowhere. <laughs> I lived in Korea a couple of times. I lived in Abu Dhabi a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, j j those are just the fun places I could think of. Uh, there's other places wasn't so much fun, but overall, great experience. Right, right. What years were you? Year? Uh, joined 1999. Okay. Uh, got out 2015. Okay. So you got a little, when you first came in, it was a little peace time, right? Yes, like, it was. Time. Yes, yeah, it which was. Which was good. Yes, it was. Kind of like you ease on right. in there a little bit. <laughs> like, yeah. like, anytime people say, where were you on the day of? I'm like, I could remember, like, like it was right now. Yeah. I was at Andrews Air Force Base. I was checking in patients in the clinic. Um, brought a patient back. It was There was a lot of commotion outside. Right, right, right. I was like, this is a crazy movie y'all watching. Went yeah. back, came back <laughs> out. Woo woo! Alarm black. Wow! Shut the base down. Mm. But you know that as well. Experience again. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I recommend. You know, I, you know, I know times getting rough, and I talked to a couple of young brothers. He's like, man, I ain't going to serve as Trump president. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to serve. Anything might jump off. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I I was talking to my son about this too. Man, service do give you some discipline. Um, you know, some structure in your life, and when you come out, you know. You can have something, a foundation to build on. And then the VA, they, they will look out. Yes, yes, they do. Like yes, they do. Um, to speak about Obama, when he was president, he gave a lot of funds to the, to the military. Mm -hmm. They have a place up in Lyons now, as, um, a whole building, just practically PSTD, that they mm -hmm. treat. Well, not my fault, a whole wing. Oh, oh nice. PSTD that they treat, because a lot of people are coming back with PSTD now. You know, um, things that happen to them. But, uh, you know, it's all good. Oh, you was telling me that you, um, before, when you came, that uh, you was a, a lady and she gave you the baby to open up a shop somewhere else? Or? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, actually, as of today, actually, um, um, actually, I will start in January, so I'll just start advertising until then. Okay. Uh, so, right there on Teaneck Road, you have is a dance studio. Uh, uh -huh. Forgive me, it's directly across from uh, the Popeye's location. Okay. Uh, it's upstairs. Everybody know that's right. Uh, it's right under the right under the flower, right above the flower shop, right yeah, there, yeah, right. I'm exactly so, uh, right. as of uh, January, I'll start teaching there as well. Um, well, from Monday to Friday, um, on Mondays and Thursdays, those mm -hmm. will be the night classes as well. But from Monday to Friday, all day uh, classes will be kept. Uh, CPR, first aid, mm -hmm. uh, AED, uh, definitely. Um, if anybody want to do blended classes, which is you know, you do a portion online, then come see me and mm -hmm. do some hands-on skill testing, and you still acquire your two-year certification that way as well. Okay, yeah. So when you get your certification, you're able to, um, what, to well, respond to people? Or is it just yes. that you're legal to, you're legalized, you, you, you're certified you, you, to do you're, this? You're definitely legalized. Right, right, uh, right. It's definitely under, uh, I'm American Heart Association authorized right. uh, training site. Uh, so what that means is pretty much I can certify anyone that need their American Heart mm -hmm. uh, certification okay. uh, to, to work. Uh, a lot of things that I do as well. I go to churches if they need free classes. Mm. It's just for the just for it's like literally what I said earlier about empowering the community. Exactly. That's really all I'm about. So a lot of classes I do free classes. Mm. I do free classes, but um, you know, th there's also people that need certifications. Mm. I.e., uh, like I said, in hospitals, fitness trainers, gyms. Um, yeah, because before you become an MTA or anything like that, you need have, to have yes. that, right? That's, okay. that's the base, that's the foundation. Right, right, right. That's the foundation. Because uh, that's saving lives right there. Yes. Believe it or not, you know, it's a story, it's part of my testimony, but mm -hmm. they saved my life. Oh, wow. If it hadn't been for the EMS, man, I wouldn't even be here. You nice. Know? That's um, awesome. You know, give you a little bit of, you know, I was hit by a hit and run. I was hit by a driver in South Carolina. And the wow. Cops, and the cops had charged me out in the street, man. Dead. 
you know, and told them I was dead. So the EMS, they went through their protocol. Told them that they found the pulse, a slight pulse. Got me in there, hit me with the thing, you know, the, uh, the AD. Uh, yep. Yeah, and then um, brought me back, but I was still unconscious. But if they hadn't did their protocol, you know what I'm saying, they hadn't went through their protocol, I'd been rolling out in the morgue. So they rolled me Most out to the morgue somewhere, man. I was like, wow, you know, so I always have big respect for the EMS, man. Most doubt. Yeah. I, I, I love my first responders, I tell you. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, That's that. awesome. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a break for a bit, but that don't mean you quit. Listen to WFDU FM Streamline HD3. We're going to rock your body. I'll reset your mind. Free.